So this was a talk that put together all the elements behind trying to get the very best visual outcomes in patients with wet AMD with our current available anti-VEGF drugs. So we've learned a lot. You know, we've had these drugs now in 10 years and there's two basic aspects to getting the very best results. Probably the, we the best known aspect is uh, optimizing disease control. And what I mean by that is getting the macula dry and maintaining a dry macula, which is challenging, it's not so easy. That's always been something we've uh, been striving to do, but we've learned how to best do it. And the best way to do it is, is more of a continuous style of therapy, um, although we still try to individualize. And it's a balancing act. Um, you don't want to overtreat, but you don't want to undertreat. Overtreatment is greater risk, greater burden, greater expense, but undertreatment is where we lose vision over time, lose the vision gains that we get early on when we start a patient on wet AMD and IVG therapy. But uh, year after year, if you're really not on top of the signs of wet exudation, you can lose ground. And a companion talk, a talk that preceded my talk, actually came out of Australia and showed excellent long-term seven-year outcomes with keeping on top of the disease in the long run. The other aspect of getting the best possible visual outcomes is early detection. Um, that is something that we haven't been emphasizing and some recent data um, really underscores the importance of early detection. And it also shows how well we really can do with anti-VEGF therapy, if you catch the disease at the earliest stages, when the CNV, the coronary vascular membrane, is small and the visual acuity is good. That when we catch wet AMD, when the visual acuity is 20, 40 or better, we can keep that vision level, 20, 40 or better, up close to 75% of the time, at least at the year two point, which is what we studied and just recently published. And that's, that's uh, one of those little known facts. I mean, 75% of wet AMD to keep at a good vision level is something I don't think we would ever uh, would have imagined turning the clock back just 10 years. Early detection, um, there's a lot you can do. And there's no one thing, but um, first and foremost, getting a complete eye examination with pupil dilation so you can get a good look at the macula. Um, will first allow you to, to establish the diagnosis of macular generation. And most people are going to have dry, which is good. And if they stay dry, most of those patients will have ongoing good vision and usually not significant vision problems. Uh, there's exceptions to that, of course. So what we're looking to do is catch the conversion from dry to wet at the earliest stages. Right? In order to do that, the patient has to be aware, know, know that they have the diagnosis. Once they have the diagnosis, you assess how much dry degeneration. If they have a little, they're at lower risk. If they have a lot, they're at higher risk. And the higher the risk, the more the patient needs to be on top of checking each eye independently at home in between the visits to the eye care provider. The eye care provider may recommend, hey, let's see you twice a year. And that's good, but the chances of catching the wet AMD transformation at around the time of the visit is pretty low. The patient can look at a grid, which is the traditional old-fashioned way the patient looks at each eye like this and looks for a change. And at the first signs of a change, assume that could be wet macular degeneration, call to get in to be seen within a week. That's what I tell the patients. And that alone would work pretty well. But even better, there's new technology, um, electronic devices, uh, one of which is called the PHP technology. Um, which does even a better job at picking up that change. It's a device that a patient uses regularly. They look into it, check each eye, it takes a couple minutes in each eye, and that's been shown and proven in a big study to pick up wet degeneration at an even earlier stage with even better vision. And we're going to see a whole host of things become available for our patients over the next few years. Um, personal devices, you know, whether it be uh, tablets or even uh, phones with big enough screens that allow patients to self-monitor vision. Um, there are some of those available now. They haven't been quite validated like the PHP device yet, but I think it's coming. And I think all these methods will prove to ultimately um, allow us to pick up wet degeneration. 
The last component of early detection is uh, public awareness. Public awareness of the notion of wet degeneration being treatable and getting the best results with early detection is key. And understanding what the symptomatology is with wet AMD.